Hey everyone on YouTube, how are you guys doing? We're here at the Academy of Natural Sciences in Philadelphia. And I've got my good friend here from the New Jersey Truck and Trace uh, Museum. And his name is John. Hey John, how are you doing? Hello, how's it going? Pretty good, John. Hey John, what are you doing here today? Today we are displaying many trace fossils from New Jersey. Uh, from the Triassic period and the Jurassic period, um, mostly northern New Jersey, central New Jersey. We have everything from purple marks to dinosaur footprints. Purple marks. To uh, raindrops. Dinosaur footprints. Dinosaur footprints. Raindrops. And cool. We got some plant material. Plant material. Cool. And then we got some really large dinosaurs. Oh, that's a big one. Which uh, which dinosaur is this? Most likely from the Dilophosaurus. It's uh, called a Eubrontes dinosaur footprint. Eubrontes dinosaur footprint. Mm -hmm. And what do you have over here? These are some reproductions that we made of a modern day alligator from a local museum called Outrageous Pets in New York. And why would you be interested in modern, uh, modern footprints, reptilian footprints? Um, modern day footprints are very similar to the reptiles that lived back in the Triassic period. And we can actually see how they walked and how they moved modern day reptiles to ones from the prehistoric past so to identify these footprints. Cool. Well, what do you got over there? Uh, we do lots of field trips. We go to local quarries, we go to um, construction sites, and we, we actually find um, the footprints in, in different layers of sandstone. You can see another year Brontes right here. And we go out on field trips. Oh, who's that guy? Uh, that's me. I am so you I just sight, right? I, I'm at a site in a quarry. Uh, you can see the floor of the quarry in the background. So, what, but how do you how do you excavate all that? Oh, uh, you gotta split the layers open. You can see right here we uh, isolated the layer that we're gonna pull up and pull the, the footprints out of. So you're actually taking the you're actually finding these fossils right inside, say, a mountain, cliffside, hillside. You're pulling them right out of the ground. Huh? Oh yeah, they're right. They're, the rock is in the same position for over millions of years, and once the layer is exposed at the surface, then we can go and um, excavate it and, and see what's between the layers. Each layer, and we have anything from ripples to like actual footprints to be absolutely nothing there, but you never know until you split the rocks open. And then you got little reptile tracks. And we have them with some larger growler types. Some desiccation cracks. But yeah, it's a lot of hard work. We use a lot of crowbars, a lot of um, wedges. Let me just say a zoom in on the tools that you use. You've got different hammers and chisels, sledgehammers. You got sledgehammers, geo hammers, uh, mini sledges. How deep would you say that is? Uh, we dug down about about five feet of just topsoil on top of that before we actually got to this layer. And then you have to crush through the rock until you get to the uh, productive layers. Exactly. There's a, you know, there's a specific layer where, a specific time where the conditions were just perfect, where the dinosaur walked and left his footprint and got covered very quickly. And then with compression, and, and uh, it eventually it turned into a rock. So these are all solid rocks, but they were once just regular mud. Cool. How long have you been doing this, John? Well, I've been doing it since the 90s, so almost 15, 20 years now. Wow. Cool. But so you're here at the museum displaying your fossils, representing NJTNCM and? And the Delaware Valley Paleontological Society. Cool. And we're here uh, educating the uh, future paleontologists in the area of Philadelphia and trace fossils and hopefully a career in paleontology. Cool. All right. Good, good luck. I'm going to walk over to your booth and I'm going to take some uh, shots of that, okay? Okay. Nice meeting you. <laughs> nice meeting you. <laughs> I've known him for 15 years. Yeah, we've been friends for 15 years. So we've got uh, John's booth over here. Uh, John's booth over here. Oh, thanks for coming, John. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> All right, so what do you have here on this display? Uh, these are a variety of fossils that I have found over the years. Uh, Can we start from left to right? All these are from New Jersey, except for this one here is from Connecticut. But we do have, in the very back, we have 
NMO up this. There's a, two tracks there. Um, it's from the quarry in New Jersey. Uh, these are more like a bird-like track versus an actual dinosaur. So they were kind of unique for New Jersey because we don't see too many of those. But that's from the Jurassic period. Right below it, we have a reptilian type track, kind of like a hooked hand print. Um, it's from something similar to a crocodile from the, the uh, early Jurassic as well. Um, these are very uh, common in northern New Jersey, but not too common in other areas of the state. We do have large growler footprints that come from the Passaic Formation, like this one right in the center. Mm -hmm. That's most likely from a Coelophysis type, Ankyosaurus type uh, dinosaur. Let's move on to these smaller ones. And then we also have a lot of these smaller reptilian tracks, which are called Batrocopus. And these are very typical of like the Stegomus, is like a good example of uh, the reptile from that time period that made these. And you see a variety of trackways going up and down. All right, so John, let me ask you a question. You've been doing this for 15, 20 years or so. Yep. How, much, how many fossils have you amassed so far? Oh, in my collection, I got probably pushing about 400 slabs of uh, Triassic, Jurassic rock in my storage areas. And we've been friends for about 12 years or so, right? I've got a similar size collection. What do you plan to do with all these fossils? Well, hopefully we can find a you know, place we can display them permanently and create a museum for the public to enjoy. Hopefully, um, you know, people will be inspired by what New Jersey has to offer as it's right in the ground in their own backyards. Cool. So you're looking to open a museum in New Jersey. You're yes. trying to get funds or get a petition going to to have the state funded or something? Just trying to have an area where we can display these fossils and you know show people what New Jersey is all about, <laughs> the area of paleontology, and what uh, beautiful things come from the state. Cool. All right, John. There's a lot of scientific value here as well. And it does seem like you have a, a lot to show, but very little space to show it in, right? Yeah, they do take a lot of space, but, you know, we can put these on walls and cover them from head to toe if we need to. All right, John. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. See you later.